also this evening. He started out with an apprenticeship. Now he's offering them at the company he founded. Without our, our scheme of bringing younger children in, our, our workforce would be slowly ageing. You don't need a degree to succeed. That's the message from the boss of an engineering firm in Birmingham, which supplies Jaguar Land Rover and Cadbury. He started as a 16-year-old apprentice and now invites children as young as 14 onto a pre-apprenticeship scheme for youngsters who don't see themselves as academic. Well, James Boville joins us now in the studio. And, James, it's National Apprenticeship Week, isn't it? So how many people are actually uh, taking apprenticeships at the Numbers moment? Numbers are actually going down, Nick, over the last few years. And that's because for the last six years, all businesses with a wage bill of more than £3 million have had to pay an apprenticeship levy to fund apprenticeship schemes. And since then, the number of people starting an apprenticeship has actually fallen by around a third to just under 350,000 last year. And with many citing poor quality and lack of training, around half, 47% of apprentices didn't even complete their course in 2021. But with the cost of living now starting to bite, interest in apprenticeships are growing again as people look for better career prospects. Applications were up by 8.7% in January compared with the same month last year. So, are apprenticeships the best route to a well-paid job? I've been to visit one business in Birmingham where the boss started life as an apprentice. The master and his apprentices. Alan Lusty started ADI Engineering from his bedroom. He now employs 850 people, supplying technology to the production lines of big businesses like Cadbury. As a former apprentice himself, he's passionate about giving opportunities to young people who aren't necessarily academic. So he started a pre-apprenticeship scheme for 14 to 16 year olds at King's Norton Boys School to learn the basics of engineering as part of their GCSEs. I think the fact that they do a pre-apprenticeship for people our age is really good because it can improve their skills as well. I want to definitely do an apprenticeship somewhere. Before I come here I didn't really think about working in uh, engineering but now it's really good, yeah. I see some others who are once where I am now and I see them doing their work and, I, and they look happy doing it so and I enjoy doing what, what we do here and so I think it's a really good goal to have. ADI currently has 43 apprentices working across its eight sites and 16 of them started life like this as pre-apprentices at the age of 14. Now since 2016, 84 children have gone through that pre-apprenticeship scheme. 11 of them now have full-time jobs here at the firm. Apprentices Jack and Jordan started as pre-apprentices. Today, they're working on this panel used in conveyor belts for a well-known food delivery company. I was always more of a practical person. It's given me that experience that I sort of need for later life uh, opportunities. And again, I'm ahead of the game now compared to people who have, let's say, gone to college, gone to uni. Uni or sixth form has never really appealed to me, in all honesty. But uh, the practical side, as well as the theory of it, is it's a lot more my thing. Around 5% of Alan's workforce are full-time apprentices. Vital, he says, to fill a growing skills gap in the engineering sector. The children are slowly learning that I don't have to wait till 18 before I start earning. I can actually start earning and learning. Our most recent person who joined us at the age of 18, um, he's now an operations director for, for one of our companies. He's now 35 years old. Alan's apprentices are helping his business grow at a rapid rate. They're aiming to take on 400 more employees by 2025. Maybe some of these pre-apprentices will be among them. James Boville, BBC Midlands Today, Kings Norton. Yeah, Alan Lusty, an inspirational role model there, isn't he?